wheelchair to a walker, from a walker to a cane, to standing on the word of faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. When I was in the nursing home, Jesus came to me and said, Son, it's by my stripes you were healed. Mm. The word were stood out. Amen. Mm -hmm. The word being God. That word were recharged my life. Amen. Amen. And so God is going to do that same thing for you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. So Father, we thank you for your word. Your word is pure. Come stand with me, honey, right here. Your word is pure. It's holy. God, we thank you. That your word restores humanity to divinity, receiving the highest calling of dominion, authority, stewardship, and ownership, changing the world for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, open your Bibles with me to Romans chapter number 10. I want to go through the scripture. I feel like my wife got something to say to you. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go over to Romans 10. I'm going to start at verse number 8, then I'm just going to flow and let the Holy Spirit say what he wants to say. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, the word is, uh, but, but what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we preach. And if you confess, your mouth, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart. Mm that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. So your profession should be your confession. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. You ought to just have your professional status ought to be saying and confessing the word of God. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Look what this says here. It says, uh, in the 14th verse, go down, it says, How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed, and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard, and how shall they hear without a preacher? Amen? Yes. Glory be to God. Go down to the 17th verse. So then faith comes. How's it come? By hearing. I said, how's it come? By hearing. By hearing. And hearing by, by the word. The word of God. Yes. And I like to say, when I open up here, I like to say, and I'm going to see if I can show you, we're going to have to have a chapter two. But I like to say that faith and the word and Jesus are the same. Mm. Help us tonight. I said, faith. The Word. Come on here. And Jesus are the same. Amen? Amen. Glory be God. Go over to John chapter uh, number 1. Let's look at the scripture and see what it says. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. John 1. All right. It says, in the beginning. Amen? Amen. In the beginning. I'm still trying to find the one. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Yes. And He was in the beginning with God. And all things were made. This is key. All things were made through Him and out and with Him. Out Him nothing was made. That was made. And in Him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the dark places. And the darkness did not comprehend it. Go down to the 14th verse. And the word became flesh. Flesh, yes. Is that right? Yes. So the word became flesh. And so this word of faith that we preach always produces substance. All right. First there's word. Then there's faith. And then there's evidence. Yes. Come on, preacher. Hello? Yes. I said first there's word. Uh -huh. Then there's faith. And then there's evidence. Mm. And so God is always trying to get his men and women of God to receive their divinity so that they can operate in the likeness of who God is. All right. 
Hallelujah. You it's know good. It's good. Man, honey, he made himself. I said, when God made man, he made himself. Yes. And he put himself inside man. He put the capability to speak those things that be not as though they are. Mm. Amen. Come on. Come on. That's good. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, believe me, in Ephesians 5, chapter uh, number 1, the Bible says, be ye imitators of God. Yes. Well, God, His divine nature is... That's the Bible. That's the Bible. That's why it's so impossible to please God without faith. Yes. And so you have to begin to uh, take the word of faith and put it inside your heart. See, your heart is a heart drive. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Don't worry about that, Pastor. Your, your, your heart is a heart drive. Mm -hmm. It's ready to download the word so it can release something. Amen? Amen. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. And God is trying to get you to understand that you are His divine nature in the earth. Amen. Ah. So no longer are we going to preach, I can't do this, and we don't understand this when the Bible tells us that we know all things. Amen? Yes. How many know that faith, number one, knows the word? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said faith knows the word. Yes. Glory be to God. How many know that faith has a voice? Yes. Glory be to God. All right, come on. Faith has a voice. And faith is a servant to the believer. Mm. Glory be to God. Faith wants to serve you. Amen. Right. Yes. It wants to serve you. You don't believe me? Let's go over to Genesis chapter number one. Walk us through that word, man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I wish I had more time. Yes. Glory be to God. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. It says, Genesis 1. It says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. This hit me like a ton of bricks. Underline the face. This is what hit me because in your face, on the side of your face, you got two ears. And faith comes by what? Hearing. <laughs> so so darkness was on the face of the deep, and the spirit was hovering over the face of the water. Go to the third verse. It says, and then God said, okay, we, we're, we're learning how to imitate God. Go down to the fifth verse. And then God called. Sixth verse, God said. Seventh verse, God made. Eighth verse, God called. Ninth verse, God said. Tenth verse, God called. Eleventh verse, then God said. Mm. Are you in this picture? Yes. 14 verse. God said. Right. And it was. Mm. Oh and you got to understand that everything that coexists from the spirit world has ears and ready to obey you. Woo! Jesus. Oh, <laughs> You don't have a poverty problem. You just need more faith. You're not sick. You just need more faith. Faith is ready to serve you. That's good. That's good. Now go over to 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, mm. I love the word. See, if, if, if the leadership... Meditate this stuff, then we won't preach religious things uh -oh. that are so not effective. Yes. I don't have time to talk about the devil because it's beneath me. Hello. Second Corinthians chapter number four, uh, verse number thirteen. Look what it says here. And since we have the same spirit of faith, 
According to what is written, I believe. And therefore I spoke. We also believe, and therefore we we what? Speak. Speak. We what? Speak. So what you're saying is telling a full story of how you're living. Mm. Mm. Your life is framed by your word. Because God is not a man that he should lie. Somebody say me too. Me too. Did that hurt you when you said that? <laughs> say me too. Me too. Let me show you why. Look what it says in the 11th verse. Same area. For for we live. No, no, no. Let's, let's do the 10th verse. Always crying about in the body of the dying <coughs> of the Lord Jesus that the life of Jesus also may be manifested where? Okay. He said that twice. You know why? Let's read it again. For we who live always delivered to death for Jesus sake that the life of Jesus also might be made manifest in your mortal flesh. Amen. Somebody say me too. Me too. Yeah. Everything you, everything Jesus is, you are. Amen. Amen. Now let's go over to Ephesians chapter number four. I feel like I'm at home. That's why I'm just. You better go ahead on then. Teaching. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make you aware of who you are, <laughs> so you don't preach those foolish messages. Hallelujah. What did I say, honey? You said Ephesians 4. I'm sorry, I didn't mean no harm. Thank you, Jesus. Go to your believe. Just a minute, I'm so used to having that lavalier. So you getting something tonight? Amen. Amen. You are the offspring of God according to Acts 17. Or Acts 19, the 17th verse. Write that down so you can meditate that. See, when you meditate the scripture, you're going to have revelation. Because God wants to reveal his purpose to you. And the purpose of God is to colonize earth with heaven. All right? Yes. That's the word of faith. Is to colonize heaven on the earth. Yes. Amen. Yes. All right. I got four minutes. Okay. Look what it says here. In, it says in Ephesians chapter number four. It says he gave some of some uh, uh, to be apostles and prophets and evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. To a what kind of man? Perfect. All right. A perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Where do you think Christ is getting ready to dwell? In your perfect self. Mm. And that's what we need to teach the congregation. That we're already perfect. Mm. So we can yes. begin. That's right. That's right. Her, yes. Man. You know, after a while, you, you, folks keep telling you stupid and stuff like that. You're going to believe it, huh? Yeah. Faith comes by believing, yeah. by hearing. Mm. And hearing is going to kick your belief system in. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Do, and, and, and let me tell you, in 2013, I'm telling you, 2013, God is getting ready to release faith and the wealth transfer like you've never seen before. Hello? Hallelujah. God. My God. You're not going to go out empty handed. Favor is going to hit you like a flood. Praise God. Amen. I'm telling you, God is getting ready to bless us with 1,000 degrees of greatness. I mean, you get ready to operate and fall under the anointing of wisdom, faith, revelation, knowledge, the anointing for increase, gifts, fruits of the Spirit. Creative ideas and concepts, 
insights, houses, lands, praise God. Glory Most to God. Lands. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hello, Glory Anybody to God. Going to hell? The rock's going to hell. Your mom's going to hell. I'll tell you something. God get ready to release on you. In 2013, he said he was wiping the slate clean. All you got to do is start speaking to your situation. Mm. Hello? Yeah. Glory be to God. Jesus told the disciples when, when he spoke uh, at Mark 11, he said, when you pray, believe that you receive mm. and you're going to have whatever you say. Somebody ought to say, money! Money! You come to me now! You, you come, come to me, me now! now. Healing! Healing! You come to me now! You come to me now! In the name of Jesus! Yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You're looking at the greatest wealth transfer ever to hit your doorstep. I'm telling you, Jesus said in 2013, he was wiping the slate clean. You understand me? And we went, we know, me and my wife knew we owed some money. Let me tell you, a week before, we went to go pay the bill, praise God, and they said, Pastor, your balance is zero. Hello? Glory be to God. So it's happening right now. Glory be to God. We as leaders, it's time for us to unify the faith. Yes. It's time for us to release the same spirit of faith that Jesus had, we have. Amen. 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 God's getting ready to increase you like never before. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Come on. Hallelujah. There's healing. Hallelujah. There's deliverance. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How do you want to say something? I'm just um, curious. Um, <laughs> because when I first got with God, I didn't know anything. I want to just, you know, because the word says to worship them in the spirit of truth. And it's been laid on my heart to say this because a lot of times we hear things and a lot of people don't under, they may not understand. And a lot of, I would hear people talk and preach and faith comes by hearing, but at the same time, I still didn't understand because everybody in the church is at different levels. So sometimes, you know, it, the word doesn't profit if you don't believe. Amen. And so I had a hard time when I was first going to church. I had no idea what stuff meant. So whenever somebody was preaching, it didn't mean anything to me. And I was getting frustrated. God wants instruction with the word. He wants you to teach somebody how to be where the word is at. And so we have to consider where people are in the church. We can't assume that everybody's on the same level. And I do believe that's why a lot of people fall off from the church because they get frustrated, they get bored, they're tired because they're not understanding. They're not understanding this. There's a Bible called the New Living Translation. But before I even got to that, I used to be in um, simple things like Joyce Meyer. I used to read stuff that made me understand, okay, and then go to the scripture. People said pray and God will give you the wisdom to understand the Bible. But what I was doing was actually put in works. Be careful now because when people, when we talk about faith, sometimes we turn our faith into works. Mm. That's the trick of the enemy. Then I always, people always used to sit up there and say, God's yoke is easy and his burden is light. And I used to be like, yeah, yeah. You know, because I was going through so much in my walk. But the reason why I was going so much in my walk, because I was relying on outside people instead of relying on the Lord and looking to him. But the reason why I looked to outside people, because I didn't understand this. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say, we need to start being honest and don't feel ashamed if everybody is at different levels. That's right. I've been saved since 2006, and I just got this faith thing. I just got it December at the end of the month. And I really do feel if people are honest where they're at and not ashamed to show it, that other people should help them that is stronger in the faith and been longer saved yes. and help bring them up to that point yes. instead of making them feel funny and feel condemned. Right. This is important because there is people that are being left behind in the body of Christ. And then there's people that is in transformation. And then there's people that got it. And the Lord is trying with this wealth transfer. This is how loving he is. The 
believers. What does that mean to you guys? We tend to sit up here and we believe what we want to believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. We believe partially the Bible. We believe pieces of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're still considered a non-believer. You can't have step this thing. On, it finally it. got it and it clicked for me. I used to choose what I wanted to believe in the oh, Bible. And then I would go to the Bible and read it. And it, it meant nothing to me. But here's the thing that was missing. My personal relationship with God. Oh, that's good. That's good. You gotta have a personal relationship yeah. with God. Because that is when his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Yeah. Because people will deceive you if you don't know what to look for. You go in this Bible, everything you need is in here. He talks about false this, false that, warning, beware. And um, it's very, I, I just want to, I'm encouraging people because these are the last days and God loves you. And he doesn't want his people to miss out on what he has for them. And so in order that he's trying to get people's minds up to thinking, we are, God is our dad. He's Abba. He owns everything. So we have, instead of bringing him down to us, we need to bring our minds up to him. We are 